Welcome. In this video, we'll cover what's new in FL Studio Mobile 4.3. First up, you can now set stereo separation per band in multiband compressor, like in its desktop friend Maximus. These controls are accessible on the master tab. We're now providing multiple content types in shop packs. They can now contain synth and effects presets, MIDI, songs, drum kits and more. Look forward to more of this in the future. Send level sliders are now logarithmically scaled, which means the sound level will increase and decrease evenly across the range when editing the control. You can now use OGG Vorbis encoded files in FL Studio Mobile and also export to OGG. OGG is a compressed size format like MP3, so file sizes are smaller. The drum sequencer now allows you to swap drum kits on the fly. Long tap on the sample name, then select Load Template. Zip file import has been improved. The tempo dial now changes in 0.1 BPM increments when you're turning it. One full rotation is 1 BPM. Finally, the Factory 909 template now also has a 909 style kick drum. Previously, you would have to bring your own. And that's it for the new features in FL Studio Mobile 4.3. As always, when the feature list isn't very long, the bug fix list is much longer. Since the last video, well over 50 bugs have been addressed. Don't forget to check the video information for links to the new features in the user manual and the demo project made for this tutorial. Happy music making! Oh,